Hello, my name is Alex, but I'm also known as Chibi YouTube, and welcome to another video review of Clamps Doujinshis. In this video, I'll be doing the review of Doujinshi number 20. It's a Doujinshi about Kyojin no Hoshi. Kyojin no Hoshi, which in English means Stars of the Giant, was a manga series that was first serialized in Weekly Shonen magazine by a manga artist called Iki Kajiwara who unfortunately passed away at the young age of 50 in 1987, long before this was released. The series ran from 1966 until 1971 uh, with a total of 19 volumes and it was adapted to an anime series, movies and I think more. It was very popular. It was actually the first sports anime in Japanese animation history. That's... wow. The story in the manga circles around the actual baseball team Yomiuri Giants, but using fictional characters. We know Clamp are huge fans of baseball. They have expressed that many times through their works and through their um, blog entries and doodles that they do. We've seen it in the in Tsubasa arc, the Hanshin arc, how there was um, a baseball team, even, even, even the name Hanshin is after um, a baseball team in Japan. So it's no wonder that they were very interested in this work. This was released in July of 1990 seven months after the previous release, which was Shoten 5. Clearly, Clamp were very, very busy with their um, manga series at the time. They were already working on Rigo Veda and Niju Mensoni Onegai, and they were starting already to work on Tokyo Babylon. Tokyo Babylon came out around summer of 1990, which pretty much was around this, the time this came out. So most likely they already had published the first chapter or they were about to publish the first chapter in South Magazine. So this big gap between the last Doujinshi and this one is clearly an indication that they were very busy and also slowly stepping away from the Doujinshi world. In this volume, we had a confirmation that one member had officially left uh, that member is Seina Nao. She would still uh, contribute in one for one last story in the next uh, Doujinshi, which is Shoten 6, but she was no longer part of Clamp uh, at that time. So without further ado, let's check the review. All right, so this is the front cover. This is the back cover. The cover is not as shiny and glossy as you see here. There is actually a um, plastic cover. Uh, I don't know if this came with the original. I would say not. Uh, but this is how I got it. The, the seller who sold this to me uh, gave me this way. So I, I keep it because it um, kind of keeps it protected. So I'm not taking it off, but uh, this is not as glossy, it's actually a plastic cover. I don't know exactly, There is they don't say anything who drew the art, but I want to say it's Mokona Papa, most likely. Or a mix, because the, as we know, the mascots are drawn by Mick Nikoi or Tubaki Nikoi, and there's a huge the, the huge monkey mascot here in the background, uh, then another mascot here. So it could be a combination of, of, of several artists, another one here. The cover actually spreads this way. So it shows this baseball field. Um, we have here at the top, uh, Clamp presents book number 20, then there's the, some taglines, this is the, the doujinshi title, it's actually called Hato for heart, Hato, Nibun for two minutes, uh, 
巨人の星。I don't quite understand why this looks like a fraction.、Uh, the heart is part of the title though, and this is how they、um, added, which is really cool. It's actually a heart symbol. And the title is Hot Stamped, so you can see that it shines on its own, which is pretty cool.、Um, then there's this blurb at the back, probably with a summary. Here at the very bottom, you have planning、uh, and execution or something like that by Clump. Okay, so, oh, this is the book spine, it's a very thin book. There is no、um, actually text on the spine because it's really、uh, a very short book, it's under 50 pages. So when we open, it's actually a very simple book in terms of、um, design and format. So you have a chibi illustration here. Then there's this opening text. I, I added some post its to guide myself because sometimes there, there's a, there is not a clear cut of, of who drew what.、Uh, of, there's not a clear cut when a story ends and another begins. So I have to I put these stickers and post its all over the place so it would guide me. So this introduction here was written by Okawa Nanase. And I couldn't translate it at all, but I guess she was saying how much they love Kyojin no Hoshi. And there's something here at the bottom that says that Kyojin, Kyojin no Hoshi had、um, a total of 19 volumes, and somehow they reference here number 21, or they, maybe they are calling this book. The, the 21st volume. I'm really not sure. If someone knows and I'm missing something, please let me know. But、uh, there is no book 21, there's no volume 21 for Kyojin no Hoshi, so which is why it、um, puzzled me a little. So, this introduction by Nanase Okawa. Then we have a first comic, and it's mostly gag, so you will see. I think 100% of them are comedy. There's no drama here, it's pure comedy. So, this one is by Tamayo Akiyama. She actually drew a lot of comics. She and Lisa Say are the biggest stars in this、uh, book. So, it ends there, just one page. Then we have Lisa Say, also with one page, very short. Then、uh, Tamayo Akiyama again, another one page you see over here. End Tamayo Akiyama again, another one page, very short. Then Lisa Say again, so they are back and forth between Lisa Say and Tamayo Akiyama, the two,、uh, the ones that provided most. Um, contributions for this book. Then we have Mik Nikoi. She also did several. This one is two pages long, it ends here. Then back to Tamayo Akiyama, and she has a bigger one this time with two pages, actually, three pages. It ends here. Then back to Lisa C. I don't know why these two are the ones that made more stories. Maybe because they were the biggest fans of Kyojin no Hoshi. I really don't know. Then、uh, Mokona Papa with her first story. There, there are more stories here, but this one is very short, so just one page. Uh, and you really can tell that this guy looks a lot like the guy from the cover, so pretty sure that she drew the main characters in the cover. Then Lisa Say again, one page only, it ends here. Mokona Papa again, 
she already had developed like her style was very much um, present already uh, it ends here so two pages then Lisa say this one two pages for her this time it ends here Lisa say again oh this is the Lisa say combo there's going to be uh, several Lisa say stories in a row it ends here another by Lisa say two pages um, another by Lisa say <laughs> two pages again and they're all different stories even though by the same artist they have a clear ending and as a refreshment a novel by Satsuki Garashi there are some illustrations here or there's one cut illustration I I want to say she drew it it looks kind of different from the previous ones and um, kind of a, a bit simpler than Lisa say or Mokona so I I might we might say that it's by her Satsuki herself we don't know then there is this um, section where they are giving some information about what's happening with their life as a group um, here I couldn't really understand as usual but they are there's a gremlin here from the movie the gremlins and this was published in 1990 and I looked it up and the second film second movie of uh, gremlin actually premiered in in 1990 so maybe it was the talk of the time and they were saying something about it uh, here Okawa is talking about her favorite perfumes um, I don't really know a lot about perfumes but in case you're interested here are some of the perfumes that she was very into at the time there's Coco Chanel that's the only one I can recognize um, and at this side they are giving some recommendations for uh, comics books um, it's funny because they are recommending need you mention your guy um, but it's it's not the it's not the, the manga I think this is the uh, the music uh, yeah because they're saying here uh, Victor music which is uh, Victor entertainment I think they were uh, recommending the CD it's it's nice because they're recommending their own um, work and at the bottom here at the Shiawase column they were announcing that um, Seina Nao would be leaving Clump and they would be only six members so she would still have one final appearance and one final contribution in the next doujinshi the one for Shoten 6 the final one I think it's only right because she she did a she contributed for all the other volume so it, it only made sense for her to finish uh, that story but she did not do she didn't contribute with any stories for this one she's the only clan member that um, is not here in this book so here they were announcing her leave it's not clear the reasons why she left or whether rather I couldn't really tell just looking at the, the text uh, but they were wishing her good luck they were very uh, uh, fond of her it seems uh, by reading the text um, and I think that by this time she probably already had left client they were only the only thing pending was that that one final story in uh, Shoten 6 
Uh, here they are advertising for the combination uh, CD and there's some involvement of Nanase Okawa. She did the um, uh, script for the image CD for this CD. And I think she did the packaging design as well. She's very involved in this release. So by the time this was published, Combination was already uh, serialized uh, and popular enough to be adapted into an uh, image CD. This work is by Lisa Say. And here they were advertising for um, an event that would be called Clamp Artwork Orchestra. It's a very um, known and, and, and very significant event in Clamp's history. It was kind of, um, I don't want to say the first event because we did have another one before. I don't know if you remember, if you've seen my previous videos, you will remember there was a, a singer in, the, in, the, in one of events that they did a report. But somehow that first one is not very uh, known. This one was really big, I think in terms of, of bigness and number of people that attended, this one probably, was probably larger. Uh, I don't think they had named it yet as Clamp Artwork Orchestra um, because it's, it is it's not anywhere written here. Uh, but this is this is what's going to be the title of this event and at the event they would uh, sign the Tokyo Babylon CD book so it was already uh, planned and was going to be released later in that year uh, it was actually I think released on the very same day as the event so November 11 that's the release date for the Tokyo Babylon CD book and they do they would do uh, an autograph section there again we see the little gremlin here so they were really uh, into that movie at that time and we see uh, I want to say it's Hokuto Hokuto because or maybe Subaru I, I thought this was an earring but uh, I think it's a microphone so yeah it's probably Subaru um, and um, yeah, so this was a very important event that they were announcing at that time. Now we have uh, uh, Yonkoma uh, for a four um, frames manga, and it's by Miknikoi. Lots of chibi characters. It's quite long for a Yonkoma, but anyway. And then I think this is the last one. Yeah, these are the two last ones uh, by Mokona Apapa. So she's closing the book with two stories one and two with just one page. And here at the very last page, we have the index. So this is where I took the information of who drew what. So you see here the Lisa Say combo. You have uh, one, two, three, four stories in a row by Lisa Say. Uh, everyone contributed with at least one story. Okawa contributed with the opening text, um, except for Seinanao because she probably had already left by this time. Uh, you have the release date here, uh, July 22 of 1990. And then another chibi illustration close in the book. So this was a very light book in all senses, both um, design and the weight, and also in the content, very light. It felt like a breath of fresh air between two major releases that were Shot in Five and Shot in Six. Thank you so much for watching this or any of my previous videos. I hope you're enjoying them. We are very close to the finish line now. There are only two doujinshis left to cover. Um, I hope you look forward to them. 
in case you don't know, I have a website about Clamp. The address is chibiuto.com. I would love if you can pay me a visit there. Until next time, bye.